As I've mentioned on numerous occasions, we have a growing list of talented young drivers in New South Wales. Another name to add to that list is young Seaton Grimer. I caught up with Seaton today at Menangle. Well, Seaton, first of all, congratulations on your win with Golden Year back on August 31. Outstanding performance. Must have been a big thrill driving your first winner at Menangle. Uh, yeah, thank you, Mike. Um, it was my, I don't know, maybe about 10 to drive here, and to get a win was pretty exciting. And then I actually got one last week on the Maldives for Ian Wilson, which was pretty good a week after my first. So big shout out to Ian for giving me the drive. Yeah, Golden Year's been an outstanding performer for Joe Conley, who's training the horse, and you've been associated with him through those three outstanding wins at Penrith, one landing a huge plunge. How did Golden Year come about being in Joe's stable? Um, well, I sort of good friends with John McCarthy and Todd, so. I sort of wanted, to, I had that all about art, retired him, so after I retired him I was sort of talking to John if he had any horses for sale to keep an eye out. Um, he sort of, he told me that he wanted to sort of get rid of Golden Year, just sort of not up to his standards. So I bought, bought that off him and me and Joe are good mates, so all my horses in his name as a trainer, I'm under 18 so I fortunately can't have a trainer's licence, but happy to give him a little bit of the credit. So yeah, all the horses are in his name. Um, Dad owns mine, Joe owns his and his owners. So yeah, sort of good mates with Joe. And then um, sort of gave him a start the week after. He ran fourth for us. And then he sort of went five in a row from there. Three at Penrith, my first win here. And then raced on Monday. And then that Saturday, he ran an MO for us. His effort here last Saturday behind Cash and Flow, finishing six, only 10 metres from the winner. That was an outstanding performance. Uh, yeah, he went really good. He, Sat parked. He, he went 150.5 himself, so outstanding runner. Did, didn't expect him to be able to do that, but can't put him down. Yeah, you mentioned John McCarthy. He's one of two idols you have in the industry. Uh, yeah, him. He's the training side of it, but my dream goal is to be a bit like Todd, sort of win all the big races here and then move over to America and start my new career over there. Now, so you didn't come through the mini trotters or harness racing through the normal way. How did you get your involvement in Mini Trotters? Uh, we used to live on a block and then um, we moved to Acreage right next door to Simon Alou, his father Charlie. So I was sort of always helping them with the horses, going to the track, going to the races with them. And then I met Joe at the races from a mutual friend, so that's how I know Joe. But I come through the Mini Trots to get into the big horses. So I met Charlie and Simon, then they was telling me about Mini Trots, so I handed Dad for about a year to get me a pony. Well, I got, he got me a pony as a surprise. I raced it for about two years. That's Minnie Mayhem. She got me about 11 wins. And then I started driving for Jackie Graham on the Dark Horse. It won, oh, no, I didn't win any. I won, a, I won a fair few races on it. Didn't win no big ones. But yeah, it was the last horse I drove at championships. It went pretty nice. Now, your mother wasn't too keen on the fact that when you said to her you wanted to get involved in harness racing on a bigger basis and also the fact you wanted to leave school but she's you've turned her around and now she's a big fan yeah i've got to say mum's my number one supporter so oh her and dad dad's dad's slowly getting into horses but i still can't forget dad's first words when i said i was going to race the pony he said i was dreaming mum always believed in me she always believes in us five kids so yeah they're my number one supporters and she let you leave school as long as you found a trade which you did and very successful uh, yeah, I left my I left school in term one, week one of year nine. So I was about uh, 14 in two months. Didn't like school, always having days off. And I actually got in a bit of trouble and they suspended me. And I went back and mum said, he goes, is there any way I can get him out of school? So <laughs> the boss said, if he gets an apprenticeship, I'm happy to sign him out. Well, it was on that day. I never went back to school after that. So I've done my four years as a cabinet maker. I actually finished that uh, maybe about two, three days ago. So now I'm on my fourth year. So hopefully as soon as I finish that, I'm driving full time. You must have a very good boss for letting you get to the races during the week to fulfill your other dream of harness racing. Uh, yeah, he's really leaning. As long as I do work while I'm there, he's, he's pretty leaning. He does let me go early and uh, he knows that I really like driving and that's what makes me happy. So he's happy to let me go. You better give the boss and his business a mention. Uh, yeah, Sam Sleever, Radiant Kitchens at South Windsor. Really good. Now, following you, after your involvement in harness racing, his younger brother Bryson, so he's become hooked as well. 
Uh, yeah, Bryson, Bryson was never really into horses until I started racing. And then about, uh, I'd say maybe a year after I started, Bryson started hounding Dad for a pony. So I sort of, he got my leftovers, took Mini Mayhem, and I started driving for Jackie. Well, he's done that for about two years. Now he's starting to do his trials. He's done about four. Hasn't, he's still really keen on it, but he's working, well, not working for Robbie Morris. He goes there every Saturday, helps him. So he's getting drives off Robbie, so shout out to Robbie as well. So it's good to know that your brother wants to follow in your footsteps. Uh, yeah, he's, he's always there to help us. He can be a bit of a pain sometimes, but he's a good laugh to have around. Well, so it's been nice catching up with you. Once again, congratulations on the start of your career. Only uh, 11 months into it. And it's hopefully that this rise to stardom continues. Thanks, Mark.